Oh, hey there, YouTube. How are you now? Well, I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do today. Not too much going on. Just kind of having a lazy one. Thinking about heading to the beer store. Picking up some, uh, well, obviously some beer. And uh, no idea what's on tap for tonight for Skaven Games. So I'm thinking uh, I should probably have fired up the car a while ago. Let that run for a bit. But I didn't. So it is what it is. Let me uh, fire that up right now. There's snow in the car. Must be snowing outside. Huh. Well, I had a couple more calls today from uh, random employers. And one of them was a weird one. Uh, one of them was from the call center that I used to work at. See, they watch my videos, right? So, <laughs> I find it funny that they're giving me a call, especially after all what I said about a call center, that they're calling me to see if I'll come back. Yeah, I really don't get it. I don't know how they would call me to come back after all the stuff I said. So, don't make a lick of sense, but a lot of, not, a, a lot of a knot does. Yeah, she did snow a little bit today. Huh, well, fuck a duck. Check it out. Car's all coated in the white shite. The white shite. Oh, we'll grab the old snow job and clear her off. Ah, the old snow job. Interesting device. Foam pad on an extendable stick for clearing all the snow off your car. Go to see a lot more during the day, but you know, whatever. It works pretty good, except when you're dealing with uh, ice, then it's pretty much useless. But, uh, yeah. It's right across the car. It's really good on glass and, like I said, if it's not frozen, it works great. If shit's frozen, it don't work with the shit. Got this doohickster for Christmas. I guess uh, dad got one last year or the year before, and my brother made a fuss about it. He wanted one too. So, because him and I both drive cars, we both got one for Christmas. I've been using the same friggin' snow brush that I've had since I had my Ford Tempo, and never needed to replace it. This is the other problem, is getting into the license plate area with this. She's a bit too tall, but it works. It's great for people with trucks who need that extra reach to get on top of the roof of their truck, right? Holy crap, I hate it when the neighbors have parties and they park all around my driveway. It makes it a whore to get out, especially when you can't see any cars coming because between snowbanks and vehicles, you can't see the road, so you're looking for artificial beams of light to tell you if a car is coming. But you do have those dimwits in North Bay that drive around without their fucking headlamps on, so it, it, it tends to happen more often than you would think. But uh, yeah, so got another email about a, a tech support job. I, I don't know why, but they're contacting me about Mississauga. It's like, bro, Mississauga is like a fucking four hour drive. Like I live in North Bay, clearly on the resume and on my profile. It states, I am in North Bay. Here are my criteria of my educations that I've taken. Here you go. Like, I guess it'd be great if I didn't own a place and I was looking to fucking relocate for a job, but currently I'd like to stay up here because like I showed you yesterday, I got a lot of shit and getting rid of all that shit so I can move light-handed would be kind of hard to do. So I guess on Monday I'll find out what's going on with that one job I talked about yesterday. And like I said, worst case in Ontario, I can always fall back on the call center job, you know, if need be. Because luckily I didn't leave there on uh, on burnt bridges. I left there professionally. That yeah, was funny, after talking to a few people about these vlogs, they're like, wow, you give away too much personal information in your videos, Adam. And I guess they're kind of right, you know. I have known people in the past who've done this gave away too much personal information on their videos and got royally burnt fucking like lives were ruined and stuff like I don't really care about the hunting for a job part whatever it is what it is but um, no I, I definitely understand the personal information part but then again I'm trying to make a, a series about my life but some people are just like your fucking life is boring then don't watch it's like if you don't like the way I live my life, plenty of other shit on YouTube, but no, they feel like they gotta offer their fucking two cents. 
that nobody gives a fuck about because pennies aren't being manufactured anymore. It's like, unless you have the perfect life, well, sorry. If you have the perfect life, then theoretically you shouldn't have time to sit around and watch YouTube videos. Just saying. And people who leave hate comments have come to the conclusion are people who uh, basically hate their own lives. Like, they're in a depression. They're in a fucking sulk. So they gotta basically sit there and rip on me. And because I blocked them, they rip on my a rip on me to my audience trying to get that message back to me because that's how they make themselves feel better. And it's pretty fucking sad that they feel the need to do that. Like, you know you're a pathetic piece of trash when you have to get your voice heard by the content creator so you go after their audience? Like, what the fuck's the matter with you, bud? You're calling me a loser and you're doing stuff like that? Like, are you fucking for real right now? I, I don't... I don't understand humanity. I really don't. People are fucking idiots, and I've come to that conclusion a long time ago. Which is why, obviously, I've taken jobs in customer service, right? Yeah, I don't know. Some people just find happiness by causing misery, and those are the same people who gradually turn out to be fucking crims. The speds of the planet, if you will. Any hoozle, um, I'm down here at the beverage dispensary. I'm gonna hook myself up with a case of the Golden Beverage of Awesome. And then we're gonna go home and we're gonna cook ourselves a fucking ham. Well, a ham steak on the old barbe. On the old barbecue. So, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go get some beer. Alrighty, beer is got. So, I got nothing really else to say. So, let's just head home. Get that barbecue going. And we are back in the sanctum known as my garage where we will open up the bay door to avoid, avoid the carbon monoxide toxation. Get the old backyard grill operational here. Oh yes. Uh, we're gonna need a little bit more fire than that. There we go, we'll let that heat up because we are cooking this mother load right here. Oh, sweet Jesus, that is one big piece of ham. Also, tonight's beverage of choice, good old Pilsners. Fuck, I love this stuff. Oh yeah. Grill marks, bud, grill marks. Alrighty, well, bon appetit, it's time to go eat. Holy fuck. Got done playing Colors Against Humanity. Logged into Minecraft. Realized I didn't have anything left to do on Minecraft. Shut down Minecraft. We're watching Married with Children. Yup. <coughs> oh, Haven't been doing too much today, but that's okay. Cause yay! Yeah, today was just a simple day, but you know what the best part about simple days is? No money spent. Well, how about a case of beer, bud? Like other than that, no money spent. Uh, just let stupid out for his shit, so. And then, uh, yeah, I'm probably gonna shut the vlog down and uh, go lay down myself. Grab myself a couple of these oranges. Cause they're tasty as frig. Tasty as frig, yo. Just waiting for Stumpy to come back in the house. Where's Stumpy? Come on, Oreo, let's go. He's power shitting on my driveway. Fucking dog. Uh, son of a bitch. Anyway, people, today's vlog was a bit short, but that's all right. Cause that's what happens when you don't do much. So, if you want to check out uh, the live stream, it should be up in on Skaven Games for Cards Against Humanity. It's pretty good, but it's alright. Anyway, on that note, people, I'm going to shut her down here, so thanks for watching uh, today's vlog. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, click that like button. Any questions, comments, concerns, down below they go. And until next time, people, I keep on vlogging.